So once you have comp completed your sketch, you're going to turn that in for a grade and then you will get that back. And then we are going to get the stencils to trace. So you have, for me, I have this large piece here and then the corner piece, which I can use for both corners. I'm going to take my black paper that is larger, so it's pretty big, and then I'm going to fold it in half, corner to corner on the small sides, crease it, and then I'm going to open it on the inside because that's where we're going to work. You're going to put this about in the center. So I'm just checking that I'm about the equal distance across from the sides on each, and then I'm going to be tracing it with my pencil. So I'm going to trace it with my pencil, get one that works, holding the stencil nice and still, and tracing around those edges. And you can see that it leaves a really light mark here, and then I'm going to do these corner pieces line those up before I trace and you can just flip this shape to this corner that's a math word also to flip a shape and line that up before you trace it once you are finished tracing your shapes you're going to use your sketch to help you and enlarge this image onto here so I would start using that as my guide to help me draw like I started with this wing so I'm gonna start with the wing on here and I'm going bigger because my paper is also bigger so proportionally this is smaller this is bigger so I need to make everything slightly bigger on this particular piece and if something is messed up it will still erase like you normally would um, this is going to be the back of your paper so that's another reason we're doing it on the back is so that if we do mess up um, it's not a big deal you won't see all those pencil marks when we're finished so here you can see I've transferred this smaller design bigger onto my shapes and make sure you have everything once you get here if you could come and check the teacher check your work with the teacher and then we can start working on what parts are cut and what parts are going to be uh, staying the black construction paper so what might help with that is for you to also take every of your each one of your lines and then just doing a shading like this so here you can see I've gone back every space and doubled up the lines and then just did a quick shading in so that I know that I'm gonna be cutting this space out this space this space this space this space 